This video is co-sponsored by creativemarket.com. Hey guys, welcome back to Creative Process and in this video, we're designing this vintage text effect. But before we go further, I want to show you an amazing collection of vintage text effects available. If you go to Creative Market website, you'll see a list of add-on bundles. So as you go and check out this vintage text effects and it's amazing. It has got a vast variety of text effects. It's very easy to use. You just open the file, edit the text, save it and that's all. It takes only 10 seconds. So if you're looking for these kinds of add-on bundles, you must go and check out. So let's go ahead and design our vintage text effect. So I have opened a Photoshop file. Now uh, on the layer, we have got only one layer that's a background layer. So first of all, let's change the background layer to blue. So let's choose a blue color from here. Or maybe you can choose from here, light blue. All the backspace filled. Select the layer, all the backspace filled. Now we need to uh, add few text. So first of all, I'll just use the normal text and let's type out our text like B L U E Blue Corporation Co. And selecting that text, let's change the color to black. So we have typed out our text. Next thing we need to do is we need to change this into a smart object. So select this right click convert to smart object and in that way we got a smart object now uh, we can edit it by double clicking in this and it says you want to open it open it and after that you can just edit a text and it will be updated automatically here so it's become very easy now next thing is we need to create that uh, vintage text effects style in 3d mode so let's create few layers so i'll just duplicate this uh, for first is the our color layer. So let's type out C O L R color layer. Then second is our pattern P A T T E R M pattern. Let's duplicate few more. Third one is our uh, maybe you can say stroke S T R O K stroke. And let's duplicate one more. This one 3D. And let's keep it below color. And we'll duplicate one more. And this one is the last one. And this will will shadow. So now let's work on all these layers. So first of all, let's remove the fill color. So I'll just reduce all the fill color to zero. Now let's hide these two and let's work out from the color. So double click on the color palette, this color layer and you open this layer style. Now under this, first of all, let's fill the overlay color. So let's keep the overlay color to white. So let's keep it white and let's add some drop shadow so we'll keep the angle to 45 and uh, distance around 10 and let's say okay fine now next thing after completing that let's go to pattern now i'll just double click on this again go to layer style and under pattern first of all let's uh, add some inner shadow so i'll just select this let's choose some dark color from here like blue tone like that dark tone and we'll just uh, change the size to zero and let's play around with the distance so let's give some distance like let's scroll it up and down and see you know, okay that's fine now after giving that stroke let's give some pattern overlay because this is basically for pattern stuff so let's go there and we got this nice pattern under pattern this is a, a line white line and after that selecting the pattern uh, we'll select this normal style and here let's select the subtract because we need to subtract it from there and reduce the size to around let's say uh, let's check it out from here so mm, almost like let's say like very small like that you can see that now after that let's reduce the opacity and you got that nice effect here you can see you got that nice pattern here you can play around with the sizes and you get that effect after that getting the pattern let's add some strokes so double click open the layer style click the stroke and let's change the stroke color to white so let's black to white reduce the stroke thickness so let's give it around okay that's fine and click okay so we got all these stuff next thing is we need to add the 3d sh drop shadow so first of all let's add that 3d so i'll use this uh, extreme bevel option to give some 3d and before that let's move this 3d layer a little bit up so i'll just use the arrow key selecting the layer 
around here, enter, double click inside, let's give the overlay color, color overlay and here let's give it uh, black like that and let's give some drop shadow so let's add some drop shadow so like uh let's see let's see okay like that you can see nice shadow here you can adjust the distance so let's okay, arrange the distance here so let's keep it a little lower and extra remember here let's uh keep the size around two two maybe let's check okay and maybe one and click okay so we have given this 3d now let's just move the layers here and around with the arrow keys according to the position like that so that you can feel it's in 3d now last layer is the shadow so let's open that up go there and let's uh only add the color overlay and here we'll get the color overlay like like gray tone like that and click okay so now after that just move around with the layer so with the shift and arrow keys i'm just moving around the layer so like uh, you're giving some shadow on the ground like that and you can see the layers are not matching it's uh, the color are like uh, off so if i go here and if i add multiply it doesn't affect it so what i'll do is i'll just keep this normal and i'll just put this under uh, group so i'll just put this under folder and let's name it shadow s h a d d o w shadow and now it's under this folder i'll just go there and apply the multiply and you can see it has got that nice tone so after this let's add some pattern to the background design so i've got an image here so i just click and drag in here drag and drop and it has got a, some line uh, pattern so i'll just scale this up according to the size of our design so let's scale this up and enter now after that let's go to layer and where it is it's let's bring it down here and let's change this to multiply so you got this and after that let's reduce the opacity to let's say 15 and you can see we got a nice pattern to the background and screw giving a nice impact and it's done so finally we have completed designing of widget text effect if you're looking for an easier way i wanted to save lots of your time these add-on bundles by creative market are best for you you can also check out other add-on bundles as per your needs like lightroom presets brushes or exposure overlays gradient and these all these are amazing you'll definitely love it I hope this video has given you great information and helpful to you. If you're looking for design tutorials and resources, subscribe this channel. Don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up. And if you're more updates on designing, you can press the subscribe button. Thank you.